Okay, we have been dating for two years, and you have not taken that ribbon off your neck. I can't tell you why. Maybe on the day we get married. Okay, now that we're married, and you're my bride, tell me what's going on with that pink ribbon around your neck. I can't tell you. Maybe when we have our first child. Please, I need to know. Why won't you take off that pink ribbon? I can't tell you. Maybe perhaps when we have our first child. Okay, Mary. It has been ten years. I have been very patient. Tell me about that ribbon. Thomas, I can't. I'll tell you the day I die. Okay, my love. Now that you are dying, could you tell me why do you have that ribbon on you every day? When I was very young, something very tragic happened to me. And my parents took me to this very old farmhouse. Okay, now why were you taken there? The lady there practiced witchcraft and she was able to fix what had happened. And she knew what to do to cure me. Please tell me what happened to you. I... I... No! Dad. <laughs> Whoa, what was all the noise? Is she dead? Yeah, and she never told me the full story about the ribbon. Should I take it off? Oh, you need to know. Okay, I'm gonna pull the string. for hours. Yeah, but it's sort of creepy, you know? Yeah. Hey, where's Andy? He was supposed to meet us here. Yeah. He's probably like be... hiding somewhere trying to play Joker and I'll see something, you know how he is? Yeah, we should go to his house to find out. Yeah, let's go. Park. I'd rather just stay here. It's not fun just playing hide and seek with two not people. Not at all. If you guys want, we could just hang out here. Come on, it's our abandoned park. Yeah, I mean, like, we own it, sort of. It's kind of spooky, but you uh, can that, hide in a place for hours. Fun. Okay, listen, my grandfather told me a story about that park. I'm not going up there. What's, What's this, this little story, story you heard? heard? When my grandfather was a child, there used to be a hermit that lived in the woods where the park is now. At first, no one thought anything about the hermit. Until one day, when one kid came out of the woods all cut up. When the boy got to his parents, he told them that the man offered him chestnuts. So the boy went into the woods with him, and the man tried to kill him. He said that he saw dead bodies everywhere. Back then, a lot of kids went missing. Nobody knew where they went. The parents were furious. They went to the woods and they found the man's cabin and burned him down and killed him. My grandpa showed me the story of the newspaper. To this day, kids are still missing. They say his ghost is still out there. There's no way I'm going out there. I believe my grandpa. If you don't want to hang with us, just say so. 
Look, I, we don't believe you. I think you're just making this up. We're just going to go play hide and go seek by ourselves. Alright, you guys go, but don't say I didn't warn you. Whatever. It's going to be really boring playing hide and go seek with two people. Yeah, I know. I think you should hide first. Yeah, I'll go hide. I'm going to hide somewhere so good, you won't be able to find me for hours. Just watch out for the boogeyman. Oh, <laughs> Where could that kid have gone? He's probably so spooked out. He probably went home. He's such a baby. Ugh, I'm going home. Everyone's lame. The handsome chestnuts. It's not good to play in the ballpark, duck. Come with me, little boy. I will take you home. No, 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 no. I'm not far behind you, little boy. Jesus Christ. It's coming. <laughs> Someone's at the door. Somebody's actually at our door? That's such a surprising news to me. Someone's at my door? Who would be at my door? That's just creepy. Oh. Hello. Who are you? I am Henry, your new neighbor. May I come in? I can't believe it. But sure. Hi, Henry. My name's Stephanie. We can talk in family. Okay. Nice house. Thank you. I came over to invite you to my housewarming party. Uh, I don't really know because I'm not really used to this neighborhood. I don't really like to leave my house a lot. Well. I am dying for you to come. I think about it. Hi, Maria. You're not going to believe this. What happened? Did you actually answer the door? I actually did. It's my new neighbor, and his name is Henry. And he wanted me to go to his housewarming party tomorrow night. You should really go. You should get out of the house and actually meet some people. I don't know, Maria. There was something just off about him. His his skin looked icy and his eyes were just wrong. And there was something about his voice that was just off. It wasn't right. Stephanie, you really need to go. You haven't met any neighbors or seen or talked to any neighbors in two years. Fine, Maria, I'll go. But after this, you better not talk to me about meeting new people. You know what? I'm going to stop by and tell Henry that I'm going to go to his house tonight. Hello? Is Henry here? Uh, you know what? We actually moved in this weekend, 
and he just did, left me a note yesterday and decided not to stay here. That's funny because he came over to my house yesterday and asked me to come to his house tonight. Oh, uh, well, Henry's a difficult guy, just I don't know what to tell you. That's funny. Why would Henry invite me to a housewarming party when he doesn't even live at his house? Oh, that was close. Henry, what did you do? Well, Henry, your ghost has been very busy, but I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be the best prank ever. <laughs> You're such a baby. That's not funny. I can't believe you got scared of that. You're such a baby. I'm not scared of anything. That's not nice, Colt. You know what? Somebody's going to get you back for this. No. You and your wife go away. Well, this is going to be the best prank ever. such babies. I can't believe that scared you. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Cole. One of these days, you're gonna get it. Ew, I'm so scared. I'm not scared of nothing. What the heck, Cole? <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Dinner's ready. That's not funny, Cole. One day somebody's gonna scare you to death. I'm not really scared of anything, Jake. I'm leaving by a little chicken. One day that kid's really gonna get it. TV won't work. Can I use the guest room to watch it? Okay, honey. You can watch it in the guest room. Okay, Mom. You need to get a new TV. Okay, honey. I'll get the new TV. Now, did you see that news report about that crazy guy on the loose? Yeah, Mom. Nothing scares me. Okay, honey. Just make sure to lock up the doors. And remember, he likes to wear disguises. He likes to wear disguises? Honey <laughs> must be the best serial killer ever. Bye. What's up with this climb statue? Oh, my mom is just silly. Hey, mom, what's up with this clown statue? Oh, honey, I don't know what you're talking about. Here, I'm gonna give the phone to Dad. There you go, honey. Hello? Ugh, Mom's shopping is off the wall. Why'd she go and buy a clown statue? Son, there's no statue. I don't know what you're talking about. I know, right? Son, how big is this clown statue? 
It's man size. What? You trying to scare me? You're so annoying! Son, that's no clown statue. That's a serial killer. Get out of there! What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? For the first time, I'm scared. Dog for adoption, dog for adoption. What's his name? I'm thinking about adopting him. His name is Rico. How much is he? He's free. What happened to the owners? They were murdered. Wow, his owners were murdered? I guess I'll take them. Hey, was this the new dog you were telling me about? Yeah, I love him. Yeah, but he hides all the time. I never see him. The only reason I know he's alive is because he eats his food. And at night, I stick my hand under my bed and he licks it. Come on, Rico, lick my hand. That's weird, what's wrong with your dog? I don't know, his old owners were murdered. He must have been freaked out. Good luck with that. This dog's got me so stressed. I'm calling this doggy hotline. International doggy line, how may I help you? Hi, I hope you can help me and listen. My dog is hiding all the time. The only reason I know he's alive is because he eats his food. Not your dog. What? You Americans are crazy. You're rude. You guys worry about everything. Your dog probably hates you. You're no help at all. I guess it's time for bed. Look at my hand. Rico! 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 Why aren't you licking my hand? Rico! 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 What is that noise coming from my closet? Why did the light just turn on? Rico, please tell me that to you.
strange when you're a stranger faces look ugly when you're alone women seem wicked when you're unwanted streets are uneven when you're down when you're strange faces come out of the rain when you're strange no one remembers your name when you're strange when you're strange when you're strange people are strange when you're a stranger faces look ugly when you're alone women seem wicked when you're unwanted streets are uneven when you're down I told you not to take my head off. When you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. Go again. <laughs> okay. Go again. Okay, go. Okay. Go. Okay. go.